Lina. Uh -huh. Hey. How are you? I'm excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, happily surprised. I knew that you're gonna be here. Mm -hmm. But I heard I have to share you. I know, and then the schedule changed, and now it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. I get you all to myself, because the last time I had you was group too, so yeah, now... Yeah, last time you had to share me. I had to share you, and now you're all mine. It's perfect. Yeah. So I, I really am looking forward to it. <laughs> last time it was such a sweaty scene where we were like all it was acrobatics it was Hard X is like always acrobatics yeah we were really worked up yeah i just feel like i'm going to the gym every time i go do like a hard x scene i'm just like i'm gonna be disgusting by the time i'm done and i was i was feeling it was on a sunday i think we shot and i was feeling like in the old days because after our scene i had to rush directly to the next scene actually to you had a second scene that place. day yeah Oh my god, you're so tough. I, 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 you. I went from you. Uh, I thought you were dead on your feet that second scene. That's so, that's a lot. No, it was actually here for Chris. Oh. Uh, DP. Uh, was, oh my was god, fun. you did that and then you went to the DP? You're amazing. <laughs> no, it was fun. You're a machine. And actually, we are back here to that uh, place. We are here okay. for shooting for Chris Dreams. And I know today it's going to be a super cool scene because he's the easiest guy to shoot for. So lovely. I'm so, like, this is my last day before I fly home. I've been here for six weeks on, like, a kind of just spending the summer shooting a lot of content. This is my last day, so this is my send off. I feel like I'm in very good company for my last uh, last day. To you do it the other way around. Most people go to Florida in winter, and now the summer starts, and you go to Florida. I, yeah, exactly. No, I'm. It's it's totally bass backwards. I really. I'm just gonna sit in my house though. I, I have so much content that I've shot this past uh, this past month. So I'm just gonna sit. Edit me and my puppy dog. <laughs> Gonna sit on the couch and edit pornos for the next two weeks. No, no beach time. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the beach. I think I'm gonna go to the beach. I have a, a little niece. She's four, and I think I'm on babysitting duty this week. So we're gonna go do beach stuff. Go do girly princess stuff. I've been stuff. only uh, shooting in Florida once, and I stayed there for it's so hot. two weeks, and it was perfect. I fell in love with it. I. Yeah, no, Florida, I'm, I'm a southern girl, so I went to college in Florida, like, it's just kind of, for me, I, I like Los Angeles because I get to come out here and have great sex, but I'm just, I'm a country girl at heart, like, I like to be. What I like so much, like, in, we, were, we were in um, uh, Miami, and they have new beaches there, like here you don't find a, a, it's true. a new beach, Florida there is more very, relaxed. Like, yeah, especially like around... Anything farther south than Tampa, really, and you're gonna find like a lot of like swingers and alternative lifestyle people. Like, there's a lot of, yeah, it's like there's an oddly progressive sexual streak in Florida. I remember we had a weekend off, and I, I became friends with one of the local girls, and mm -hmm. I asked her if she wants to come with me to uh, uh, Key West, and she said, "Oh yeah, sure. Do you mind if I take another friend?" And we went with like two girls and me. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun, and it was. You're such so, a silver fox. I love it. It was so. We were just like I casually picked up a civilian girl, and then I turned it into two civilian girls, and we went to the island. No, no, no. <laughs> she was. We worked together on oh, set, okay. and we became friends. So, and the other one was a whore in third generation. She's not in the movies, but her mother and her grandmother are all prostitutes, and they're super cool. And That's so cool. Uh, she she called her mother on the way to to Key West and said, "Hey, we want to have party and fuck. Where can we go?" And her mother gave her some tips and wow. it was really cool. That's that's mm. I you know I thought my mom and I were tight, but I've never hit up my mom and been like, "Hey, mom, can you uh, can you tell me where the best spots to fuck in Key West are?" That's. That's love right there. And I, I remember I was wearing shorts and we were in a bar and the girls pulled out my dick from the shorts and <laughs> the waiter came and I thought, oh, we, we might be in trouble. And he, he said, excuse me, sir, my boss is gay. Do you mind if I take a picture of your penis? That's all he... <laughs> Wait, so you took your dick out of the bar or yeah. they took your dick out of the bar. Yeah. And the only response from... The restaurant waiter is, I want to show your dick to my gay boss. That's, yeah. <laughs> I love Florida. Yeah, Florida's so too. weird. I love it. 
It's a, it's a very like, it's a very uh, strange part of the United States. It has its own weird character. Yeah, it's so different. Like mm -hmm. here, you cannot even go topless at the beach. In LA County, you actually, this is a, a little known secret, in Los Angeles County, as long as you're within like the municipal like city area, you can be completely 100% fuck ass naked. I have walked down through Chinatown, like 100% naked. Really? And nobody can do shit. I biked 11 miles naked through um, downtown LA. I have to ask my lawyer about that. I know, <laughs> I know because in San Francisco it used to be like this and they changed the law a few years ago and now you see gay guys walking naked on the street still but they put a sock over their penis. That's, that's hilarious. That's the, that's the key. Yeah, yeah. the um, here it's as long... So I interviewed a cop for like a... I shot like a pilot for something and I was interviewing a cop about nudity laws and he was telling me, he told me directly that as long as I'm not doing anything illicit, like as long as I don't have a butt plug or anything like that, I can go anywhere in the city of Los Angeles ass naked. No problems. Nobody can stop me. That is very nice. I know. Uh, it was like this in... I should have showed up that way. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, here is not LA County anymore. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. This is not LA County. So Same that's a good thing say. because we don't have to use condoms. You know, that's a very good thing. That's <laughs> a very good thing. I'm not. Why do I get tested every 14 days if I have to wear rubbers? Like, no, yeah. no. I don't. I don't get needles every 14 days to have to do that. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, I don't want to hold up the production. We are ready to roll, and I'm very much looking forward, and maybe I know we are in time, so before you rush out to your plane, we can talk a little bit after I the scene. I would love that. Without any makeup left, probably. But I know, I'll be a mess, that'll be great. <laughs> I'll just show what good work you did on me. You have to show the before and after. Okay, mm -hmm. lovely, thank you. Okay. See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mm. Lena, mm -hmm. it was amazing. To shoot You're with amazing. you is so much fun. You're so much fun. I'm ready to go to sleep now. You can pass in front of the camera, don't worry. We are, yeah. uh, everybody right. knows that we are on yeah. set behind the knows. scenes. We're in your way. Yeah, literally right in back. Uh, yeah, yeah exactly. Good. Okay, so we are back on mm -hmm. YouTube channel Steve Holmes Porn, mm. and we talk about porn. Unfortunately, I cannot show any nudity. We wish we could show you what we just did. She, yeah, yeah, and I wish I could show you her boobs and ass. It's just amazing. Oh my God! You but you can see it on Twitter. What's your Twitter? Lena L E N A is a peach. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show it on on, on the screen. So, Lena, we were talking a little bit before that we both like Dire Straits. Yes, uh, yes. And we sometimes feel like in a Dire Straits song. <laughs> yes, we get our money for nothing and our tricks for free. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'm very, very happy for the scene today. I'm so happy. This was the perfect send-off, the perfect wrap-up to my summer tour. Okay. So when are you going to be back? Uh, I usually, I try and come for like a big trip like each season. So I'll be back in like September. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm going to contact you when you're here uh, and invite you to our bowling night if you'd like to come. <laughs> that would be wonderful. I'm horrible at bowling, but I'll be great moral support. I mean, <laughs> Get a we, have, we have some good players, but most of us are bad. Great. And Perfect. Uh, some girls even just show up and then they don't play because they don't want to ruin their, ruin their nails or whatever. It's, it's just true. A, it's just it's a just social. Yeah, yeah, no, I've heard about I've heard about porn star bowling. I want to go porn star bowling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text you for the next time when you're here. Yes, please. I give you my number so mm -hmm. you can text me we when will. you're Bill. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, you have to catch a plane. I do. I have to I have to go and uh, pack up my apartment real quick and I have a few door. questions because mm -hmm. I mean we shot together and I kind of feel I know you but only sexually. <laughs> Uh, I, we only know one another sexually. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I kind of know what you like. Mm. And yeah, you know what I like. <laughs> you know what I like. <laughs> you don't seem to have any trouble guessing that. But I don't know your background. I don't know what 
motivated you to do porn? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, how did you how did you get in the business? Why did you choose to do porn? Um, well, I was working in environmental startups in Latin America. Um, I dropped out of school to go found a startup with some um, tech buddies of mine, and everything was looking amazing. We were pitching to like Fortune 500 companies to like use their investment, their venture capital funds on us. Everything was looking great. And then it wasn't, suddenly. And I had a lot of business debt. But I had been webcamming at night in from like my hotel rooms in like Mexico and Guatemala. I would just geoblock Mexico and Guatemala so I could keep working there, but like have a night job to get money for my startup. Okay. And so when You know geoblocks are easy to Oh so easy. You uh, can proxy yeah, around I mean, it. I, yeah. I do it all the time when all I, the time. When I travel to countries where they have no Netflix or whatever. Exactly, I know it's the same thing. Now that I know that. But <laughs> um yeah so I when my business failed I was like, hmm, well I actually really kind of am am good at this whole webcamming thing and I, I have all this business debt, I should do porn to fund my startups. So uh, like I've been kind of doing that ever since then, using porn as So like, and that was a startup you had for improving the environment? Yeah, it so was... So indirectly, porn pays for improving environment, the environment? Yeah, no, indirectly, porn actually funded some really interesting uh, research into climate change's effects on various funguses, <laughs> various funguses of, of Central America, the more you know. Another question. Mm -hmm. You are so good in anal sex. How did that come? How did you discover that it's something you like, that you're good at? You know, that was actually one of those things. I was kind of, um, I was skeptical that I was going to find a lot of space for self-exploration within porn because I had done everything beforehand. I was very adventurous and like, I didn't really like anal before I did porn. And then porn girls taught me how to do anal properly and it just started this love affair of, of course, and then I have people like you who are so good at it and who know what they're doing and I don't know. Porn made me fall in love with anal for sure. I just got really lucky that I love it so much that I think my body just makes it easy for me. Okay, you're flattering me, but uh, I have to say experience helps on both sides. It's men very true. And men it's, and women. it's so true. Like practice really does make perfect on these things. And you have to understand you can't fuck a butthole like you fuck a vagina. It's very like they Especially not at the beginning. Not at the beginning. You can you can when it opens up, yeah, you can start to pussy fuck it. But whenever it's like you have to be delicate with mm. it at first. You have to like coax it to come out. Mm -hmm. Relax it. Mm -hmm. You're very good at that. So mm. My dear, unfortunately, I have to let you go. I, I could know, I don't sit here and cuddle with we can, you. We can cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel okay. Okay. Mm. I'm looking forward to your next trip to California. I'm looking forward to my next trip to California. Mm. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye. Uh, we keep cuddling for a moment. Yeah, bye. <laughs> mm. 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 Thank you for a good day. Thank you. Mm.